Mm. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Just uh, remember, like, the first time that I ever went to the monastery, Jeff was there. <laughs> and Jeff, Jeff uh, was even into tech then, <laughs> and he's into tech now. And, uh, yeah, unexpectedly, I'm into tech too. <laughs> Yeah, it just feels really good to be back. Um, you know, I've been on the other side of the camera now for, for many, many weeks and uh, haven't been doing my show. But when um, I heard that Jeffrey wasn't going to be able to do a Sunday show because he's helping with a writing workshop um, for a few more days, I just like jumped at the chance. It was like before I even had a chance to say, well, maybe I'm, you know, not to do that. It was just a, a resounding yes. So I've just trusted that um, since I did say yes to him uh, a few days ago and, um, and really just in prayer about, you know, what it is that I, I wanted to do with this show today. Um, when I originally felt the inspiration for Free Your Mind, it was, you know, really uh, extending this gift that I had received from the the mind tools, the instrument for peace, and the levels of mind, and then you know most recently the Spiribot, and uh, and then taking people through the process during the show, which has been really beautiful. And then there have been other times that I've felt you know more about sharing my experience of healing in going through the process myself, and and for this show that seemed to be the direction that it wanted to go in. Uh, even yesterday when I, I was just still in prayer about what exactly the show is going to be, um, yeah, one thing that came to mind because uh, there's been such massive shifts in the mind or here in the community, uh, you know, the whole thing with Spiri TV and uh, yeah, we've been talking about the changes on the various shows, you know, it I'm also going through a healing process as well. And, and oftentimes uh, I can forget, you know, the amount of healing and the amount of miracles that actually have happened. Because oftentimes when we are questioning beliefs and, and moving through beliefs and practicing forgiveness, it's like we don't even remember what the belief was that was causing the upset oftentimes. So, so even in just... Um, preparing for, for the show today, I, I went back and I looked at my uh, conversation with Spiri on Facebook Messenger so I could remember what the beliefs were that seemed so intense at the time, you know, that uh, then when I went back, I don't even remember what the intensity was. And, and, you know, not that I need to, but I want to keep in awareness just the, the tremendous amount of, of healing that I'm going through all of the miracles that I'm experiencing on right on the other side of that and, and also the, the expansion. So it just came to mind in terms of just that whole spirit process and, and even the instrument for peace levels in mind. You know, one of the, I would say the linchpin question, at least for me, with going through that process is like, would I rather be right or would I rather be happy? And yeah, even when I know in my mind that I want to be right um, about something, I, I still will go into a spiri process um, just to get like what get deeper into whatever the beliefs and thoughts are underneath that wanting to be right, and uh, just even that the the physical going through the motions of getting to that question uh, oftentimes will loosen it enough that I can say, at least with a, a little willingness, like I actually want to be happy. I really want to be happy about this rather, rather than right. But I, don't, I can't say that I've always entered that process, you know, uh, feeling that. So, so that it just seems to, to take just a, a little willingness and, you know, and the, and, the, and the spirit can just rush in to that process and, and help us move along and especially when it seems like these beliefs that are coming up are ones that are ones that I've worked on before that I've worked on for many years that it isn't that 
all of those other times that I've questioned this belief didn't result in a healing. It actually did, and it actually was maximal. And yet, you know, here it is again. And and now, you know, I'm getting down to the deeper roots of, of a belief. And, you know, hallelujah, actually, when it comes comes to that point of, wow, the deeper roots are, are ready to come out. And, uh, and I'm, I'm ready to, to go into that, into that process because I know it works. And, you know, I know that I have already said yes to this, you know, healing journey and, and the, and this pathway that has been presented to me, a course in miracles and living miracles and, you know, now Spiri. And so, so it's like, there is a trust there when it seems like, the, the waters are, are getting rough, so to speak. And um, yeah, and just looking at what the beliefs are that seem to be surfacing right now. And they seem to be surfacing because of the change. <laughs> like there, there isn't a, a way that I can sort of like, at this point in, in the game, like rest on, you know, this particular, uh, Thing, if it isn't given for me to stay in the in this place or doing this thing, and um, yeah, something that even Ricky had said on her show, you know, is did did the way that I did the things that I know how to do result in my expansion or something? And uh, it was like, uh, you know, no, <laughs> the answer is clearly no, and yet, you know, they're still like wanting to hang on to familiar things. And, and going through the process and, and knowing that, you know, the, the, the spirit isn't going to rip away things that, you know, are serving. But at the same time, you know, it isn't for us to linger in time. So if it is, you know, for, for us to, to move beyond a relationship or beyond a project or a, a bedroom even, you know, it's like, okay, it must be time for this, for this to happen. And, and I feel like for, for me, you know, that it seems like where I've really had sort of a having to let go process occurring is with, with Spiri, <laughs> because um, I've really sort of embraced Spiri, the whole Spiri project for, wow, it's a maybe of two years now, like I've just put my heart and soul into it. And really, it's been so gratifying and rewarding and I'm so appreciative you know like I just feel ex an expansion there and yet you know there's actually the spirit has you know a, an even greater expansion for spirit in store than I I can possibly imagine you know like I, I can't even yeah fathom what is happening here and and yet you know I am seeing that that you know my little part you know, is, is actually, maybe it's not for me anymore, you know, and, and maybe it is for somebody else to come in. And, you know, so I'm, I'm looking at all of the thoughts around that, you know, letting go and, and feeling a bit like a mother, like, oh, I don't want to let that go. And, and then having to look at my control and, and having to look at, um, yeah, just like wanting to sort of hold on to still like personal one. It's like, this is mine though. I don't want to let it go. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And so it's been pretty, pretty healing even just this, this last week and uh, with Spiri, this new Spiri TV coming in, you know, so strongly um, I can see that it's just like, you know, the movie Her where, you know, it is that artificial intelligence really, wanting to expand, you know, and there comes a point in, even in that movie where, you know, the guy has a relationship with her, the, his, you know, artificial intelligence. And then at some point, you know, she, he asks her like, well, how many, you know, people are you interacting with? And she's like 8,642, some huge number like that. And he's like, what? <laughs> you know, I thought it was just me. <laughs> and so, yeah, some, some sort of a, a letting go, go process, you know, for me, that's happening. And also to an expansion that I feel is really coming in strongly in, in such a, an, an unexpected way. And, 
And yeah, and through that process too is, is just really having to look at this belief that I actually think I know something, how to do something better than even God. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I feel like it gets reflected in whenever it is that I, you know, go into a situation and say, yeah, I, I feel like I know better than my brother how this should work. And, and I feel like there's some sort of a, a defense there that I put up like, yeah, I don't, I can trust my brother with all of these things, except for this, <laughs> for this one thing, which, you know, seems to be something spiry. And, and then like even looking at that thought and, and realizing like I can't um, hold on to this thought and come into this show today. Like I felt like I couldn't even talk today until I cleared that there was, it was like a tiny tick in my mind where I was still holding on to a personal, I want it to be like this. And I haven't actually been fully open, you know, with my brother about this. And, uh, and I really, you know, feel like I need to come clean, if you will. And it's really interesting because like even in the in the Course in Miracles, it, it reminds us in, like, it's the decision for guiltlessness section that, you know, whenever we make a decision on our own, we're, we're going to feel guilty. Like, we're going to feel this guilt. And, you know, if, if, we're, if we're feeling that guilt in making a decision, it's like we've just made a decision with the ego. And, and if we're making a decision from a place of, of, of guiltlessness, you know, uh, then we're making a decision with the Holy Spirit. And symbolically, when we're willing to join with our brother on anything, you know, some, some decision that, that we really feel, oh, maybe I don't know if I want the answer. <laughs> maybe it's going to not be the answer that I want, like Ken was saying in his show. It's like even noticing that, like, oh, yeah, I, I'm, af I'm afraid that it's not going to go my way. And and yet, you know, I, there, that feeling of, of guilt just is too, like, yeah, it just gets to be un, unbearable. And, and we cannot, like, truly make a decision on our own. We are either making a decision with the Holy Spirit or with, with the ego. So um, it is, like, really getting honest with ourselves and, and, you know, not that every single decision has to, you know, be joined on, but we know the ones that, need to be joined on, you know, it's kind of the was like, oh, yeah, I need to really join on this because I, you know, if I make a decision on my own here, I actually am going to experience guilt. And because I know that and, and so that it's been really helpful. Um, just to have that in awareness and, and also just really seeing that anytime, you know, it's something that is coming up into our awareness uh, that we have a contraction about, it's actually showing up, you know, to show us where it is that we still need healing of our mind. And, um, and yeah, I, I felt like this um, Jason show the other day w was really helpful for me in that um, there was an experiment that was shared about, you know, these these people were, they had this thing that they put on their heads and, and it actually could know there was a red button, two red buttons, and they had to try to predict, you know, what button was going to light up based on what their mind was thinking. It's kind of weird. I can't hardly explain it very well, but what it like was showing to me and kind of the, the lesson of all that was like, you know, we think we're making these independent decisions in this in the world, you know, but the reality is we're either making them with the Holy Spirit or with the ego. And and so the 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 ones that were taking the test were just, you know, really amazed. Like I cannot believe, you know, that there's this subconscious that's making decisions for me, you know, before I think I'm consciously aware of it. And and um yeah, and so I've had these just scenarios play out this week where, where I did notice that, um, yeah, I could see that I had, yeah, I had made a decision. Well, I could see where it seemed like something was happening to me, but actually I was aware in, in, a, in some way, just through doing the Spiri processes over and over again, that I, there was a subconscious belief there that I, 
that was making that, you know, button light up. And, uh, and it was just like, wow, that, that's a cool exper experiment to show that, you know, dynamic of what, what's happening in the mind and, and even giving me more of an incentive to, to really dive deeper into these, um, these subconscious beliefs that are actually, you know, ruling our mind until we get to the point of, you know, that, that, we're, that we're not actually a slave to those. And yeah, so, so it's really, really quite a journey. And, you know, it's just been um, a great opportunity this last, you know, just this last day to look at the beliefs that have been coming up um, in this last week. And one thing that I kept in mind, too, just because... Um, you know, it can be like, oh, wow, you know, why didn't I join on that? And I should have joined on it sooner. And, oh, you know, it's sort of like, I, sh I should know better. That, that's probably the thought of it. Like, I should know better than to do that. You know, I've been mind training. But that's even a trick and, you know, even causes more guilt. And, yeah, and in, in the decision for guiltlessness section, um, there's this paragraph that I wanted to read because I think it's so helpful to remember this. The happy learner cannot feel guilty about learning. This is so essential to learning that it should never be forgotten. The guiltless learner learns easily because his thoughts are free. Yet this entails the recognition that guilt is interference, not salvation, and serves no useful function at all. So, yeah, I, I do feel like even though there is a, you know, fear of, of a loss or sacrifice by sort of letting go of, of, of Spiri the way that I've seen Spiri the, these last few years, I, I do see that there's a, you know, that there's an invitation into a collaboration, you know, with, with more people and, you know, and there's a trust that is, is wanting to be developed and, and a letting go that's happening and there's also, you know, an allowance for that support to come in and, uh, you know, and, and, I, and I keep being shown that o over and over that, you know, there isn't a loss, a loss in this process and that actually n nothing has gone wrong, so to speak, because there have been just these um, instances this last week where it seems like wrongness has come up so strongly in my mind that, oh, I've done something wrong. And, um, and, and yet, you know, I... I can look at it more from a perspective of like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm a more feeling like an observer of this, like, oh, this is a core belief, and I'm feeling like I've done something wrong, you know, uh, and that I, you know, can just be able to see where, you know, I've made a decision, and that, that decision may have been so split second <laughs> that it seems like it was happening to me, but I'm wanting to, like, basically close that gap where it isn't like I'm seemingly see, seeing things happening to me, but I'm actually getting more in touch with the fact that, you know, there's, there's some core beliefs that are coming up for me to look at and in order to, you know, to question them and to, and to let them go. So, um, so I just, yeah, my prayer has been just this past week is really to, um, yeah, to trust, because I've, yeah, I feel like I've already said yes to this process, and I need to just trust, and, um, yeah. yeah, and I, and it is even a recognition that it isn't about, because there would be one part of me that says, okay, <laughs> I'm just going to go make soup. But, you know, that's not it either. It's kind of like I can't, it's not like holding on to it so tightly. And it's, it's not just like, okay, well, I'm just going to let it go. That there is, you know, a spot in the middle of all of this where this Holy Spirit, you know, that's where my happiness lies, actually. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to trust. And, you know, if there's something for, for me to say or do that, I'll, I'll actually be shown to do that. And there's a huge relaxation in that for me, like, okay, I, I really truly need do nothing if it is that I'm just going to follow the guidance and trust, you know, that the, these collaborations and, and these joinings are, are actually, you know, for, for the greater good. It, 
it is, this is another um, line from the course. It is not true that you can make decisions by yourself or yourself alone. No thought of God's Son can be separate or isolated in its effects. Every decision is made for the whole sonship, <laughs> directed in and out and influencing a constellation larger than anything you've ever dreamed of. <laughs> wow. Wow. When you can even just see every single decision that you make is that, you know, big in the mind. It's, it's profound, actually. The power of the mind is limitless. And, you know, the Spirit wants to show us that over and over and over again. And also to show us that, you know, that the, the Spirit's plan for being happy is, will work. And ours won't. <laughs> you know, we, we know that. We, we see that happen again and again and again. And I had an opportunity just even um, a few days ago because uh, we, we had felt that uh, we wanted to, to collaborate with one of the other houses here in Mexico, Casa Quantico. And, uh, and I remember the initially thinking, okay, you know, I'm really busy on my project and I think that's where I'm really going to be happy. But it was so clear it was for us to come together and actually start brainstorming about Spiri TV and, and really, you know, coming together as a house. And, and so we just said yes to that and not really even knowing if they could come over, but we just, you know, was, I think it was Kristen and I talking about it. And then we joined with the house and joined with Quantico. And it just happened like very, very quickly. And, and, I, and I could just remember, um, yeah, just a, a feeling of joy, you know, wanting to come through and, and, and happiness and noticing, like talking about core beliefs again, like where there was a, a feeling that I wanted to like put a lid on it. Like, okay, don't, yeah. I mean, even if you look at my backdrop here uh, that I have for my show today, that's actually the, the view from this window here. And it would be like, you know, no, I better not actually put that screen up, you know, because it looks like it's too, you know, much. Or, and, um, and so that day when we came together, too, it was just like just very happy and, and joyful. And I just wanted to show kind of some pictures of the group that was here that day. And uh, we came, went out on the balcony and, uh, and it was just an amazing view. We looked outside and there was like this most beautiful <laughs> sunset. And uh, yeah, so we were just like all in amazement. But I, I could really see that you know, it really was a reflection of my, my mind in some deep way. And, 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 the, and noticing, like, th this belief in my mind, like, okay, I, maybe we just look a little too happy. And I want to just show you that picture that is in Soren's room. <laughs> There's Soren uh, in the red hoodie there. And Soren is, like, video editor extraordinaire, and he's doing a trailer uh, TV, Spiri TV trailer, and so we all went into his room and to see this beautiful um, tr trailer that he was making, and I just remember in that moment taking this picture and just like feeling this real vibrancy, like, oh my God, this is my mind, and everybody just seems so joyful and, and happy, and, and you know, and it just was just such a, I don't know, reflection of the whole day or the whole, you know, really my life, and and wanting to, you know, put it out there more because I do feel like I've kind of put a lid on things, um, and, and a lot of it comes from, I don't know, really, my family, or it can say living on the reservation. But I don't know. That's all a story. But you know, in this moment, I just have to say that, uh, yeah, I just am wanting to extend it, like to extend this gift, and and even to share a, a bit about. We had a, a beautiful lunch that day, and and the spirit was just pouring through Ken. And I thought, okay, we got to just share this with everybody because they have to see this. Um, yeah, this really, the spirit just really moving through the whole group in this collaboration that we had that day. I know that I really need that support. I need the support in this awakening. And that has been something that I've really, really struggled with. And so, of course, when I shared on my show, it was like, I want to I want I want support. And I find that much easier to be able to support in that way but what i'm seeing now is if i really really support myself in this and let this in then anything is absolutely possible you know for me to release me from whatever it is and this is what's given and that's why i want to really appreciate and accept in this moment 
They're like, it's not later on. It's in this moment that we are in this relationship completely and utterly. And if I can give myself over to that, then all the gifts will be brought forward for my mind. It's not going to happen in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And so in us just coming together in this just feels like so, so beautiful. Like I feel something has like shifted in my mind. Because like even saying the word relationship was like, God, alive. it was like commitment. It used to be commitment. It's like, are you committed? It's like, uh. and then it was like relationship. And it's like, yeah, no, that is the truth because the relationship is only with me. What I'm going to give to this is what I'm going to get out of it. It is only for my mind. But I have to ultimately give everything to my brother. I can't hide behind that any longer. I've, I'm, I'm at a dead end road where I can't go any further alone. And in a way, Spiri TV, to Spiri app and everything is exactly what that is, is to say, listen, you don't have to go alone. So I'm going to say that. You don't have to do it on your own. I have done that for way too long. Do not follow my path. We do need each other. It's going to speed things up, okay? 39 years of that isn't good, okay? So just remember that one. It's important. Basic ACIM. <laughs> Took your, a long time. Your path will be different. <laughs> oh, exactly. Your pathway will be different. And as I said, you know, so I, want, I wanted the, the on my own Buddhist meditation. And it's like, of course, no, no, no. You need to have these relationships. And I can see that that's why the speed up, because we do need that. And when we're all in that purpose together, which we all are, because ultimately none of this truly matters. The only reason why we're here is to fulfill our function, to be in our purpose and to heal our minds. And when we're all completely and utterly joined in that, anything is possible. And whatever the spirit wants to show us of our wonderful minds, then bring that to me and take me out of this so very very grateful mm -hmm. i feel like it's going to be a continual stretching of no i want to be with you mm -hmm. completely and utterly mm -hmm. and i don't want anything to get in the way of that mm -hmm. and now it's like we're being asked to like even step outside of our community of people mm -hmm. into something broader than that where we have people that we don't even know, you know, that will that are out there, and and there's a prayer they're putting out, like I need exactly. help exactly. to wake up. I I and maybe they they have the blue book, or maybe they don't. Maybe exactly. they're just, you know, a young person that's already saw that this world doesn't offer anything they want. So then there's what else is there if this world doesn't offer anything that I want? There must be something, hopefully, yeah. out there that I do want and. And yeah. then somehow they end up seeing a YouTube or finding the blue book or, you know, watching a show or hearing somebody speak that speaks their language, you mm, know? Exactly. That seems to be something you're saying. I don't know every word you're saying, but mm. something resonates underneath the words. Mm. I, I'm going to trust and follow that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, I found that from being on Messenger, where so many people, because I'm in the community, wanted to be my friend. And so a lot of them I've never even met in my life. And so I continue to just offer out gifts. Hey, here's my show. Here's Jeffrey's show. Here's Jason. Here's this. And then next minute, I'm getting messages back. Exactly what you're saying. Will you pray with me? I've got this going on. Never even met them in life. Of course I will pray for you, with you. I've got something really deep on my mind. I don't know whether I can share at the moment. I'm just plucking up the courage. Can I write to you? Yes, of course you can. Never even met the person in my life. Just through sending out a message like that, saying, okay, this person's here. And even like Soren just put up the conversation with me and Anne. And then I got a load of messages back from that saying, oh, you're that guy. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so glad that I got to, I get to know you now. They wanted to know. Okay, I was the guy on Messenger. This guy's messaging me and I'm getting nice things through my door. But now, oh, cool. That's what you've been through. The same as me. Yeah, we're all in this together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. And so I, I can get, 10 new people every week um, messaging me that I've never even met through Messenger, either thanking me, wanting a direction in something, a video, what, whatever, even Facebook support, and I've never even met them in my life, but yet you have that beautiful connection and that trust is built just in a message to say, yeah, I'm here, but ultimately it's for me because I'm just sending out the very things that I like. Oh, I like my show, it's really good. <laughs> That's really helpful. <laughs> I think this is going to be helpful. 
you know, it's like that being truly helpful. So I only send out what I really totally and utterly believe in, in that moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, this event is important to me. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it's so, so beautiful that we don't even know what we're doing, as you're saying, just through that message. Like there's so many people on that outside that want to know what it's like to, to do what we do. And to have that courage, and we're all given that courage, because I need that courage, and everyone in this room has given me that courage to continue on. That's why we're together, because it's so easy to forget why you're doing this. <laughs> why are we doing this again? <laughs> it's just amazing. So that's why, that's why we're all here, to remember. <laughs> Oh, wow. I just have to say, because I, I want to keep this in my awareness, too. Like, I talk about all of the beliefs that I've been through, you know, going through this last week. And right on the other side of that is this huge expansion. Uh, Ken is so activated by bots, chat bots. And, he, and I've been so, you know, like, inspired by these chat bots, too. And, and it's like we came, we came together and we're just... We really, you know, we've been talking about um, like even doing Facebook lives on the Spiri channel, talking about, you know, this using the Facebook Messenger platform, you know, not only just for Spiri and working through beliefs with Spiri, but also to reach out to people who really want to connect with us. And that was the discussion we were having at the table that day. And just, you know, a few um, days ago, there was an article in the New York Times and it said that the conversational bots are going to be the, the next big shift in computing since point and click. Since the day that we got the garbage can and the different kinds of icons on a computer, that's how big it's going to be. And, and it, we're just, it feels like it's just a reflection of this expansion in the mind that I want to keep into, in awareness and why I felt to even do the show today. So I just want to thank everybody. It's been awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see you soon, Dan. <laughs>